Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can speed up your web design process. So what does it mean by speed up your web design process? Well, let me explain you. So basically, let's say for an example, you have a client and uh, you have created a home page for them and they like your home page a lot. Let's say that client comes from the home page and he wants you to make inner pages but he do not have any idea how the inner page looks like let's say uh, he just share with you hey Riyadh create some about page layout create service page layout blog and contact page so you could ask your client could you please share some more information like a sample website or a sample design you like most so you can ask your client but if there is no way and the client is completely up to you then you can simply start following this video so without further any delay let's jump into my computer so here you can see in our previous project we have created this home page and the home page we have created using figma so from figma to wordpress we have created this home page using spectra and gutenberg now let's say the client only created figma design for home page but there is no design for about page if i click click on about page you can see literally it's completely blank so there is no content here like if i go to service page there is no content here at all blog and contact it's completely empty so and your client says that hey i do not have any idea how the about service and blog and contact looks like let's create for them so now you do not want to spend a lot of time here because your client is confused and yes i have seen many clients they are confusing and uh, it, it requires a lot of revisions and a lot of uh, discussion when we are creating some inner pages or any pages that when they do not have any clear idea or design sense so this is pretty normal you do not have to worry about these uh, steps or situations so now you should create about service and contact piece very quickly you do not have to spend a lot of time here because your client gonna ask some revision definitely and if he likes those uh, layout then that's completely fine so from dashboard here you can see spectra and click on settings from settings make sure you have activated the spectra template features so from here editor enhancement so when you navigate to the editor enhancements you can see here there is an option called enable templates button so that means it will display something like some templates or some button if i activated this one from here and go to our page you can see when i navigate the page you can see a button called design library so when i click design library you can simply click over here kits and you can see here there is a lot of template let's say we'd like to create about us page do we can simply navigate to any template let's say this template has uh, four template uh, the earth or planet earth when i click over here there is an about uh, page i would like to select this about page and only i would like to import this about page template here inside the about page let's click insert template and as you can see the about page has been imported successfully here now if i click save changes and view the page the about page looks like this so you can add some little bit of customization inside your template to match the home page design so that will take a little bit of time like spacing images let's say you are using a website or uh, you are creating a website for uh, hunting and fishing and uh, you are using image for uh, like uh, a different uh, topic let's say uh, programming and uh, using a computer a man using a computer something like that but there should have hunting images for uh, the sample uh, about our services and blog pages so make sure when you are working uh, with your client you have uh, to select the perfect image before showing and delivering your projects to your client so if you just share this like like the current view here uh, they're gonna mad and uh, sometimes they might cancel your work uh, sometimes they might uh, provide a bad rating so that's horrible experience and uh, yes when i start my freelance career and my freelance journey there is there was a lot of incident that uh, i have learned a lot of things at that moment 
well now let's disable the title here and let's adjust some spacing here on the left I would like to reduce the space and I can replace and update the image but as of now it looks perfect now so you can add color you can change images and you're ready to go so basically in today's video it is like something like a theoretical part not like a practical things here so you have to understand some points here because uh, if you're working as a freelancer it's very important to deal with your client and in this in the same way you can create service page and contact page if you're not using spectra what you should do if you are using elementor or any kind of page builder you can install their plugin called uh, stata template so using stata template plugin you can easily uh, use these template features inside your website and it will help you to speed up the process and also you can disable these uh, features from here uh, you can just click on this uh, toggle button it will disable the a design library from here let's say you do not want to display the design library to your client because uh, there are many clients that do not uh, if, if they see something like uh, you're using template they might be get uh, annoying or angry I would say because uh, they might be saying hey you didn't spend a lot of time in my work and uh, it's like something like that uh, you just use template and okay so it's not good at all if uh, your client is like the one that I shared my experience so just remove the plugin from here and you're ready to go so that's all from my side today and there will be more tutorial and uh, uh, more information I'll be sharing in my next video have a good day bye